What's up, guys? To another episode. Old J Hook Outdoors here. We're heading out here to continue to prep for deer season. I feel like that's all we've done. We started prepping in August, and that's all we've done is prep, 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 prep. Nothing to show for it. We have shot at one deer and and we had equipment malfunction if you want to go back and check that out you can go back and check that out but who knows if this video will even see the light of day because you ought to be tired of me prepping prepping and prepping for deer season but we are going to uh move the ground blind to where we killed two last year because the wife wants to come out and hunt this year and uh, we're gonna try to find a good place for it I think I got a good place in that in mine but I don't know if it's gonna be the best spot or not I don't know we'll have to roam around up there to see um, I've got a second trail camera I don't know if I'm gonna put it up there where I'm gonna move the feeder to or maybe put it up on the north end of the property to see if anything's moving up there although I don't have anywhere to hunt up there so I don't know what the plan is but we'll figure out something let's see who's in the middle of the road up here and here we are where we got the ground blind there feeder right there this was the tree that we had prepped early in the season so more than likely what's going to happen if I can get another feeder for next season I'll probably move the two man blind to that tree keep a feeder here and have a feeder where we're about to move this one so let's get this feeder down get it moved alright we got the feeder now let's put this blind up Anybody in here? Anybody home? Anybody in here? Anybody home? Alright, Mr. Bottle, we need you. Mr. Chair, we need you. Deer blind down to where it was sitting. Move it all to the truck and get it all moved to the next spot. Guys, we're gonna put the feeder right back where we had it in this spot. The one man stand is right there if you can see it. I think I'm gonna put the blind up that way. I think that's what we're gonna do. Well, let's get this, let's get this hung. First cast, that's what I'm talking about even hung up on the tail end please tell me that's a good sign for things to come let's hang this up something just took off somewhere I think we're going. To go right here. Good little fire lane. Alright guys, there's the blind. Straight shot. There's some wildlife right there, Tucker. Feeder we're gonna hang. I've seen deer come in that way. That way. Even if I'm not with the fam, I can hunt depending on which way the wind's going. Stay downwind if I'm in the one man stand. Hey Tucker. Or I can stay downwind coming here. So let's go get the chairs, set them in there, get the feed, 
We've got another camera to set up. Let's do it. All right, feeders hung. All right, guys, we got the trail camera set. Deer blind up, feet are up. Got three chairs. Sorry, no doubt was noisy. We got three chairs in the blind. The rest of this corn. Down in this hole. How about that? Y'all get to digging and rooting around now. All right, still got one more camera to decide what to do with it. I don't want to, I mean, I will. I'll go up there and put it on the power line. I really don't want to risk it getting stolen. I'm not really going to hunt up there that often anyway. I want to move that two-man stand up here where the ground blind was. I might do that. So let's go put this other trail camera. Uh, on the trail up near the house where the ground blind was and we'll put it right on the path of where they walk through that fence. There's a down part of the fence. All you OGs will remember. We'll put it on that down part and see if they're still crossing through there every night. And if so, might be advantageous to us to move the two-man stand down there let's get to it i don't know if you guys can see on camera without all that corn dust well, there's a fence right here it's down right here you can see the down post and it goes right back up right there a long time ago i guess a tree fell on it so i'm just curious are they still crossing right here so i think trail is right here we're gonna put it right on it right on this tree right here maybe pointing that way hey right. put the camera there facing right where that opening is no feeder here it's just a potential high traffic area or it used to be Probably was a dark time because it's very close to the house, but you can see where the deer blind was right there. A lot of work went into that to only yield one shot and miss, but rifle gets here and a firearm gets here in less than a week. Thank heavens. So let's get back on, see if anything was on. The one trail cam that we had out here without a feeder stay tuned thanks for watching what's up guys just got home uh from out in the woods preparing everything for firearms uh there's not too many clips here on the trail cam i'm gonna include them all uh, the leaves are falling so it's triggering some false uh recordings here but I am concerned, you can see a little deer right there just went off in the upper right, but I am concerned about clip number 10. We'll see about that here shortly, but there are some deer. Here's a little deer right here, right on the camera. Now, there isn't a feeder out here. It's just on the trail. Let's see where it's pointing. Uh, the pond is to the right. Uh, landowner's house is to the right. And neighboring property is to the left and the one man stand is right to the left just to give you a little point of reference there so little squirrels scurrying around let's see i think there's gonna be a little spike in a little bit but not too concerned about the deer because there's more trespassers um, we have no idea who this dude is it cut off his head he apparently walked right by the trail camera right here and had no idea that he didn't see it, I guess. So he, I don't know what he was up to. He's obviously on property that he knows he's not supposed to be on. Uh, here's a little spike right here. 
little tiny spike. Be some good meat on those haunches right there. So there's that dude right there. Very quickly, some Wrangler pants, some camo rubber boots. But he's walking. The way this is pointed, he's walking away from the pond. So I don't know if he's coming from the road. I don't know what he's after. I know behind the one-man stand, we've seen some orange ribbon posted that the property owner didn't put up. We didn't put up. I mean, we put up some orange ribbon to mark uh, 25 yards, but we didn't do it behind the one-man stand. So awfully interesting that these people know that this is not their property and who don't know what they're after. But it was like, what, at 6 o'clock, 6.11? on a Thursday evening, p.m., whenever that guy was walking the property. So I may go back and move that trail camera that we put up there on the down fence back up here, pointing a different direction to see if there's more people walking this property. So <sighs> hate to be in some deer drama on some private property, but it's like we're about to be in the middle of it. Hopefully you won't ruin too many hunts, guys, but stay tuned. Rifle opens next season and make sure you subscribe.